In our video today, we shall understand how to create a cube animation like this. On a click, you have the first point and also changing the color. On a click, you have point 2, also changing the color. Point 3 comes in next with the color, point 4. Another way of showcasing these colors, you can also select the entire row in this fashion. So on a click, you have point 1, then you have point 2, point 3. Point four. So you can do this for multiple number of points as many rows are there in this queue. So but we've just taken few as an example. So in this way uh, you can showcase a cube animation or points in the form of cubes uh, to your audience. Isn't this a very beautiful way to showcase bullet points on the screen? So uh, today in our video we'll understand how to make this colorful cube. So watch this video till the end to understand how to get this entire animation and the cube structure in place. I hope by now you are in touch with Learning Equinox and you have subscribed to Learning Equinox YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Instagram where we keep posting updates on our recent programs and events. A lot more happening on Instagram in terms of Learning Equinox, the activities we do and the kind of uh, information that we share on, on our Instagram page. So do not forget to also follow us on Instagram. This, it's the same handle, Learning Equinox. Also subscribe to Learning Equinox if you have still not done so. Now let's quickly get started with this video. For this, what you need to do is you need to take from basic shapes this shape of a cube. So I'll select this shape of a cube. I can go ahead and manually make it like a perfect square or on this size option I can just go ahead and go and make the you know uh, let's say it, I want it as 1.20 in height and width so I can do it that way also to get a perfect square. Now to this cube I will uh, give it a very nice dark color let's say I give it a dark grey and I'll give a shape outline as white, which is contrasting. Alright, so I this is the cube that I have selected. Now I need to create the layers. So I'll do a control D, which is duplicate, and I'll pay, place it besides this cube. Again, I'll hit a control D so that I get the so this is one row that I have created. Let me align it to bring in per perfection. I'll align it to the top. So this is now perfect in a row. Now I need to create a duplicate of this by hitting a Ctrl D and placing in front of it. This is the next row that I have created. And another Ctrl D. I'll select all of this and align it. Distribute horizontally. Now this is perfect. So let me just group it for the time being so that I can create duplicate layers and create the entire cube. But before we do that, uh, we also need to give it some amount of transparency because this is looking a little too loud. So we'll go to uh, right click and go to format shape. In format shape, I will Go to the fill option. Solid fill. Solid fill has to be grey, and I'll make a transparency to what I like. Let's say just a little bit. That's four percent. Okay, this looks good to me, so that I can see the layering and the shadow. Now I need to create the same layer, so I'll just hit a Ctrl D. So that's the next layer, and I'll place it on top of this. Another Ctrl D, and there you go. I'll just select all of these and align it a bit. Now this is a perfect cube that I have got. But I do not want to work on these uh, grouped layers, but I need to work on I'll place it in the center. I do not need to work on this entire group layers, but I need to ungroup them because I'm going to be coloring these uh, objects in the animation. So I'll select all of them and uh, right click and ungroup. 
all of them. So everything is now ungrouped. Now besides this I will take the arrow line and I will place it against the cube that I want to show the bullet points to. Let's say this one. So I will place it here. Coming in front. Stretch it a bit. I will make the outline weight. I will increase to 2 and 1 fourth. And I will give it a darker color. Let's say black. The next thing I need to do is have a text. So here I'll have point one and type your text here. So whatever is a text can be typed. We can make it nice and bold along with a bolder font. Increase the size. Mm, not this much. Yeah. This looks good. So this will be placed against the arrow. Now I need to select these two. Control C and a control V and here I'm going to be placing the the third point. The second one will be to the left hand side. This control C, control V, and come to this side. When I'm coming to this side, what I need to do is I need to change the direction of my arrow. So I'll take this arrow and change the direction from left to right. From right to left, I'm sorry. From right to left, I'll change the direction. I'll place it, let's say, on this layer. And I can bring it in front. This will be my point 2. Now, I can do one more thing is I can have these text as aligned right. Which looks a lot more beautiful. Now, all I need to do is copy this. Control V and make it as my fourth point. So here I have created the basic structure. Now let us move to the animation bit of it. To animate this, uh, let us move to the animation pane. In the first step, this entire cube needs to come up on the screen. So I'll select the entire cube and I'll select. You can give it a swim, you can give it a zoom, anything that you like. So let me give it a zoom so that this entire cube or the box of the cube will zoom in on entry. Now let's see and go to the animation pane. Now what I need to do is on this box my point 1 needs to come. So over here I'll go ahead and add animation, object color. Right, and I can go ahead and select the color that I want. Let's say red. Now, this arrow and the text needs to come in. So, I'll use a wipe animation and wipe from left. Now, these uh, this arrow and the text box needs to come along with the coloring part. So, that is with previous. Right, so let me just show you how this happens. So, on a click, you have the cube. And then you have the red color and point 1 coming. In the same way, this is the next point. I will go add animation, object color, select the color of my choice, let's say green. Select the arrow and the point and wipe from left. And both of these again have to happen with previous. Come to the right, uh, left, uh, right hand side. Here you need to do the same thing. You need to click this, add animation, object color, select the color that you want it to. Let's say blue. This arrow and the point. Wipe animation from right this time because it has to appear on the opposite side. Both of these need to happen with previous. Similarly, the last one I will take and I'll add animation, object color, give it the color of my choice, let's say yellow. 
select the arrow and the text box, give it a wipe animation, this time from right. Alright, both of these again have to happen with previous. Now I need to alternate it. So point 1 then point 2 needs to appear. So this animation needs to come above. So I have arranged the animation in the sequence of points. Let us look at how this looks on screen. So on a click your uh, cube appears. Then the color changes and the arrow and the point appears. The color changes and the point appears here. The color changes and the point comes in. The color changes and the point comes in. In case you want to make the entire row color changed, then all you need to do is when you are selecting uh, one, one cube, instead of that you need to select control and you need to select the second and the third cube in the same row. Do an add animation, object color and give it the same color, let's say the red one. So, I will need to take this. So you see, on a click, you have the entire row turning red. Same way you can do for uh, the others as well and get that kind of an animation. So in this way you can create such magical uh, bullet points in the form of a cube. This is generally uh, possible or this can be generally showcased when you have multiple points. I mean I have just shown four points on the screen. You can have, uh, you know, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, at least 9 points can come on the screen with this help of this cube if you are taking the entire rows. And uh, this is a very dramatic way of showcasing uh, um, cube animation, uh, you know, with, where the bullet points are significantly important and the importance can be highlighted with the different color bands. So, that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. If yes, do give it a thumbs up and share around with others as well so that they too can learn on a lot more animation and PowerPoint skills. Soon we will also be looking at a few operations on Excel and Word. Uh, the focus is all about learning different things at Learning Equinox. So do stay tuned to Learning Equinox by subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.